The quickest way to get started with Music Speed Changer is through the Songs tab, which lists all the music available on your device. The list is arranged in alphabetical order by default. Click a song and it will start playing. From there, click or drag the blue bar on the bottom of the screen to access the editor. To adjust the pitch without changing the tempo, move the pitch slider. The number displayed is the number of semitones the music is adjusted by. To enter an exact value, click on the display number. To reset an adjustment to the original, click the reset button. Tempo can be adjusted in the same way. To seek within a track, drag along the waveform display. You can also seek using the seek bar below the waveform. To loop a section of the music, hold down the loop A button and release at the point you want the loop to start. Release the B button at the point you want the loop to end. The music will then loop seamlessly between these two points. You can release a loop by pressing the X button to the right of the loop point button. The button in the bottom left controls the playback mode. The playback can stop at the end of the current track, continue playing until the end of the playing cue, repeat the entire playing cue, or repeat just the current track. The playing cue can be accessed with the button in the upper right. You can shuffle the playing cue with the button in the bottom right. There are standard seek and skip track buttons next to the play pause button. To create a new audio track with the adjustments you've made in a new file, click on the three dot menu in the upper right of the editor screen, then click export edited. The name of the new file and track title are already filled in, but you can change them if you'd like. Click on OK and a notification will appear showing the progress of the export. When complete, buttons will appear at the bottom of the notification allowing you to share the track or open it in Music Speed Changer or other music players. You can also just export the contents of a loop. Select the A and B loop points before exporting the track. Then select the checkbox at the bottom of the export edited track dialog. 